Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back here at building a space elevator and we got unfortunate news. So let's just get started. Alright, so we have a bit of a bad news here. Um, I think we have to end this series, the space elevator. Although, I did remake it a bit to kind of generate something a little bit better to see if it works well. And this is what I got. <laughs> so, trying to make it more compact, more of a personnel space elevator instead of a big one to hold a ship or rover or whatever the case is. And I just made it with the similar wheels that I tested. And you have pretty much four on each side, on top and on bottom. As, as simple as that, the unfortunate thing is I cannot test this thing out whatsoever. Because it, it's gotten to the point where we have way too much blocks and things going on. Where if I remove the space elevator off the grid itself, the whole thing crashes. <laughs> and that goes with this as well. So as I was cleaning it up. Trying to get rid of all the ramps and everything like that because the new entrance for the space elevators right here. Anything I weld up that's to detach, like say right here, grain will the game will lag and outright crash. In some ways, there's just no really saving this game or, or save anymore. Unfortunately, I could take the space elevator and some portions of it and test it out. Uh, because I did save the space elevator separate from all this base and everything like that. But I think this is going to be the end of this save because it's just ridiculously hard to actually work on anymore. Um, based on all the blocks and everything like that. It's unfortunate, but it, it, it was going to come to an end regardless. Once this thing was going to work, we were good to go. We weren't going to go any further than that, to be honest. So... Just to kind of walk you through my thoughts on kind of making this new one. It's just to make it more compact. Make it with the welders. Honestly, I still think it's a little bit more heavy. It's still a little bit heavy, but it's more centralized in the in the middle and between the pillars. So we should be okay for the most part for it to go up. But once again, there's no real way for me to test this because I'm unable to disconnect this thing right here. <laughs> and the moment I do do that, it's just going to freeze or lag and then crash. So that's the bad news, but it's okay. We have other series that are going on and rather, and in this case, this was closing close to an end anyways. Uh, so it is what it is. I mean, we'll try one more time to see if we can get it moving. And I thought this thing was going to be airtight, but I think the windows kind of have some kind of problems with the pressurization. Uh, I'm going to have to find a leak sooner or later if I am going to continue with this, but I highly doubt that. So, let's see. We're disconnected right now, I thought. Are we disconnected? We are disconnected, so why? Oh, no. We are still connected by that um, bit of a wire right there. So, yeah. So, even if we were to, let's just say... Make sure it's still like connected, connected, right? So we go to our connector bottoms, as I call them. We're just going to lock this thing on there. And our landing gears. We'll look for all the white text ones. And let's just say LG elevator save that and just to, for the sake of it we're gonna lock this guy so that is kind of hugging the pillars all of them should be on to hug the pillars right down here so they all should be locked hopefully let's just double check so so right now it says unlocked well can't do anything about it because it's part of the grid so now that's when we separate this and we're likely going to crash. Let's just give that a test once again, just in case, because that is something I didn't try. 
So let's see how it goes. Definitely not good. All right, so we are back after trying to save it, and I don't know if it worked, but I think we got it to work out okay. So let's see. All I did was take off the block. It started lagging a lot, and it was slow motion. I tried to get onto the tank over there to get to the control panel to make these on auto lock so it locks onto the grid or a subgrid to, to lock onto the pillars and it did but it did come with a lot of lag as well and now it seems to be working fine well i quickly saved and then well i had to save it as a different name also just in case i, I quickly saved it i did a quick reload and then everything seems to be working okay as as crazy as that sounds <laughs> um very interesting i guess so i'm glad that kind of worked out but i don't know how well this is all gonna work out still but let's see if we can just add some steel plates here we're not gonna add too much I, we probably don't need that many let's just add um i want to say 30k on this one Ooh. 30k in this one and 30k in that one to balance out the weight of everything. Although we should probably test it without all this weight. Obviously, but why not? <laughs> Go for it. And I think we just need to set up the welders. Um, once again, this thing is not pressurized because something's leaky. It's a window probably. No, no, it's pressurized. I don't know. So before it was not pressurized now it is so that's just kind of odd all right so and moment of truth would be to unhook it but before we unhook it we're gonna play with the wheels so let's just say 100 percent power i'm gonna go with three strength full offset 100 percent friction speed limit we're gonna reduce a bit for now and see what happens and unhook it so that means we should be a grid on us on its own which it is all right so this is kind of moment of truth now to see if this thing is working so i think luckily i saved this thing where we can test it without going through hoops and everything like that all right let's get an outside view if we can right Where's the front? Right there. Right, that's the front right there. Let's see what we can do with this thing now. Alright, so let's boost it up. And we can't. You know why? Because we are way too heavy with the steel plates, I think. So that we need to get rid of that sense which is not not great because i needed the steel plates to kind of let's just say how much do i need probably not that much five thousand five thousand we needed it to weld up the grid itself the, the pillar that way all right we're looking good there something just broke i think i'm not sure <laughs> all right so the welders all here so the welders on the elevator 
it's what we're gonna do here and we'll toggle them on okay so i think we're good as long as we don't have too much weight on here so as you see here we can go up pretty fast and we're pretty stable so this is actually ideal it worked out perfectly <laughs> and it's not as like swayy and everything like that as we had before which is such a such a big weight oh that did not work out as i thought right there <laughs> so yeah it, it's definitely still breaking everything as you see here so that's not good i don't know why i did that i only have three strength on here i believe right yeah three strength and that kind of destroyed it that is kind of interesting we've got one main thing we forgot to get rid of air shock <laughs> whoops so that could have caused a problem on there but let's see how it goes even without the landing gears on there so it looks like we're doing pretty good looks like we can hit the 50 meters per second without any clanginess or breaking of the pillar we're looking good okay so this smaller kind of build is a lot better but i do want to see how it would have worked with the landing gears to be honest so i'm just gonna get to see if there's a backup or so here all right so we are back and we've reset everything a bit we're disconnected we have our landing gears they're not on auto lock so we're good we took off air shock so hopefully let's just double check so no more air shock so hopefully this works out a little bit better than before so three two one let's go okay so i guess what we didn't change <laughs> was the inventory okay back to 5k each that also means we probably don't have the welders on so put the welders on and i think we're good to go from here And it looks like, yeah, we are flying pretty smoothly. Flying, rolling. And we're not crashing hard like we did before with the landing gears. And I think this is good to go. Not the best looking space elevator, but it's functional. And it's got the space for, for passengers and things like that. So I could definitely put seats around here to look out the windows and everything like that which is great if i had to um of course I could put some um cryo chambers and things like that but other than that if i had to put a ship welding ships or anything like that i could put some connectors on the outside probably right over here on top of the hydrogen tank or oxygen tanks and things like that and that should work i mean this thing is much more ch um balance than it was before where this entrance was protruding outside so that was causing the biggest weight issue we could have balanced it out a little bit um but didn't really care to spend the time to balance it out to be honest but of course this seems to be working fine even with the landing gear so let's see if we can get top speed here and we can so well looks like top speed is 90 meters per second for some reason and wow we could stop on a dime here so that's pretty interesting too so why is it that we can't go 100 meters per second even though we have unlimited it could be but a height offset we could probably hit it more but let's just not do that <laughs> i think we have a good thing going so let's leave it as is and yeah it looks good we are going quite fast. 90 meters per second is all we need, really. I don't see any breaking of the pillar itself, which is great. And we're just flying now. So we can reach space in no time, hopefully. <laughs> so about 3k away, so it's not too bad. There's some noises here, which I think we are breaking some stuff. Okay, there's our first break. It's there. And it's probably, once again, the landing gears that's causing the problems, I think. 
Yeah, I think we lost the landing gear on the left hand side right over here. So definitely not a good thing to go with landing gears, it looks like. But with it or without it, it seems like we're doing pretty good so far, which is awesome. It looks like we are a little bit off the wall on the top right there. So that's interesting as well. Yeah, we're a little off centered right now and we just crashed to one of our projectors that we had stationed between the pillars. So yeah, we got, we're, we're, we're picking up speed eight kilometers away, almost at 10 kilometers. And this thing is working pretty, pretty well. So it looks like we're at 10 right here. We're going to run into a lot of those, um, scaffolding pillar like things because we have a lot of those up there. <laughs> And yep, we are losing gravity and this is working out really, really well. Okay, so in order to make the space elevator really work, make sure to balance it out and not make it protruding too much forward like I had it previously. Oop, that destroyed a lot. <laughs> but I think this is going to be the end of the series. The space elevator time lapse. Everything seems to work fine. Uh, we didn't necessarily hit the 43 kilometers away mark from the surface just yet, but yeah, this is really, really hard to work with um, the save right now because anything that kind of breaks and drops off the base, let's just say forget it, it's just going to crash and it's going to reset the time lapse based on, you know, how far back it's been saved. So that's why I couldn't record a decent time lapse this time around. But before we go, I'm just going to let this thing drop a bit and let's see what kind of damage it's going to create, which is probably and most likely gonna crash before we get to see any spe spectacular boom here <laughs> here it comes i see the shadow let's see a spectacular boom hopefully All right, so that was fantastic. <laughs> we got to see at least it getting destroyed. Big boom, not much lag involved. So it all kind of worked out. That is great. Got a little bit of flames going. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to continue with the series. It's a little too much work to do in terms of fixing this weird lag issue that I may have fixed, but don't care to find out, <laughs> to be honest. So I hope you guys did enjoy the series, the time lapse, and everything that, and, and all the hours put into this. So, of course, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.